Hey there, it's Nurgle. Welcome back to Meshaneka Museum. Where we play as a museum curator examining alien artifacts from the far reaches of the galaxy. How do we do that? Puzzle solving and lateral thinking. Of course. So last time, we ended up uh, looking at a really interesting alien sort of scroll. And this time, we have something new. So we looked at this last time, but let's, let's take a look at this again. We'll just grab this. Found a letter. We certainly did. Let's go ahead and read this. Redacted, redacted, of unknown redacted matter. At this point, we're not even certain whether it's of natural origin or artificial. Extracting this item proved to be especially complicated given its location inside of redacted. Shipped to the museum separately under reference number redacted. That aside, the unusual physical nature of this item uh, protected when it redacted. The energy release is quite enormous, all the while staying totally cold. Following this discovery, the Miller team attached to this operation mentioned many potential applications. Teams number 411 and number 416, led by Dr. Brenner. Note, high energy release. Use with caution. Nothing on the back. So, now last time, you may recall, we took a look at this and said, oh, great, let's get in here. Let's give us a turn. Hmm, it's stuck. The key that unlocks this should be in the box. So, uh, since we only have this box to look at, let's just go around and look at everything. There's something up here, but we can't interact with it. So, let's, we're going to just go down. Let's take a look at this middle part. We can't really do... Yeah, we don't have a number for that, so we're going to hold off. What did I say? Hold on. Adam. Hmm. Let's go around here and... Oh, hold on. And open that up. And okay, <laughs> this is... We really, really, really need to talk to them about <laughs> about their security, because it's not good. <laughs> it's actually it's terrible. There we go. Open that up. Yep, flip that down. Give it a turn. Oh, 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 hold on. There we go. Nice. Oh, screw it off. Okay. What's that? That's a small pyramid. That's odd. What's that doing there? Can we take a look at it? What's it say? Let's see. Okay, it's a pyramid. It's got some shapes on it. Probably a key to a puzzle. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's take a look. And, ah, oh boy. So we see the last two letters of that combination are three seven. Somebody said they're copied on it. We should have a chat with them. But what's the number below? Okay, that's one. So if this is two, that's one. So that's three, two. So that should be two. Two, three, seven. Okay, let's try this. So, two, hope I did that right. Oops, three, seven. There we go. Nice. Yep, unscrew that. What's in here? What, the Glorb? Oh, uh, a stone. What can I do with a rock? Okay, and chapter four. Hopefully. There we go. Whew. Okay. Just a little bug there. Stone. What can I do with it? Well, we clearly need to use that on something, but let's check it out. What can we look at here? Because there's something at the top. Can't do anything with that. What's this? Oh, we know this one. We know this kind of puzzle. You, so, so basically, you turn these around so that that inner piece is complete. Where did they find that much moon dust? On Saturn's rings? You found a lock. A lock. What? Uh oh. Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 
Ooh. Okay. Um, I don't think whistles like this before. Okay, there we go. What are we doing here? Okay, we can turn these. We can turn these. Turn these. Something's missing. Six-sided base. Oh. Oh. All right, hold on. Okay. Uh. Oh, it missed. Okay. Hold on. Uh. Nope. Hold on. I, I think we're supposed to get a light on each side of that triangle. So can we... Why is that not reflecting down? There we go. Okay. Oh, this keeps going. Okay, cool. This seems like a terrible idea. We don't know what it's going to do. It could be a bomb. Or a refrigerator. Do we love a refrigerator that did this? That would be a little bit of a pain if you wanted to, say, get a Hot Pocket or something. Okay, let's... Hmm, hold on. What's going on here? Hold... What's this? Uh oh Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, the other side opens. Ooh. And, of course, it's a completely different puzzle. Okay. Um... I guess one of these puzzles where you try to... Nope, nope, nope. We need to, like, get it over there. So let's, hold on, let's see what we can do here. Probably get this there. Yeah, turn that up there. Do you have anyone that goes down? Yes, we do. Okay. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on now. Uh, that one goes down. Do you have one that goes... Like over and down? Yes, we do. Hold on. I think this is it. No? That's not it? Oh, shoot. <laughs> no, it's not that. That's not it at all. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's. There we go. That's it. Okay. Because you see, the reason why I say that is there's a circle there and there's a circle there. So, okay. The bottom one's fine. Now, let's see what we can do here. That's it. Whew. Okay. Okay, that thing blurps back. Then we go back over here. And then that oh gosh. Okay, can we open this? Okay. Oh dear. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh boy. Okay, we have a puzzle we're trying to do. Figure out I'm assuming so that we can keep these paths of energy going and figure it out we will. But that is gonna be next time. Thanks for watching this playthrough of Mashinaka Museum. Coming up next, we got a sliding puzzle, and we all know how absolutely terrible I am at those. <laughs> Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time for more Mashinaka Museum. I'll see you then.